the sunshine at Wembley Stadium. Can he, will he step into... He can go in there, he could do, if he wants to, of course he can. It's a really big afternoon for Marcus Rashford, you know, Manchester United fan, you know... Uh, great occasion. And of course, that went to a replay, Ricky yeah. Villa's goal. This is just for you and I, people of our age. Bruce Forsyth in red trousers before Liverpool Newcastle. <laughs> when he was, you know, the number I one know. entertainer in the country. Well, that's when the, the FA Cup was amazing. We yeah. saw so many other things that was going on alongside. It was just a special day and it still is. I think anyone's going to look back and, and, and analyse any performance as long as you win. How were you in the tunnel before 2011? I mean, is there any part of you that thinks... Blimey, I'm playing in an FA Cup final. Very, 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 very few of you who want to be professional footballers make it to professional football, let alone the top level, let alone the FA Cup final. No, I think that initial excitement came when you qualified for the final, when you yeah. reach, but when you're there in the tunnel, you just focus when you... Imagine if he hadn't won it in 1998. Eager to get closer to history. Before their final day defeat to Brentford, they were unbeaten in 25 games. But Manchester United have a legacy to protect. Nobody else has done the treble. And they don't want them to. Especially doing the Posman. position Haaland has been. Marcus Rashford has responded in calm. We'll be talking about his goals as it hasn't been for the 52 that Haaland had scored. And which captain will be picking up the trophy by the time we leave here tonight. It's a step towards history. Cup winners in Scotland and England. Ali McCoy, and Lee Dixon with me in the commentary box. Have gone with Rashford through the middle. That's going to one. One of the fastest goals ever scored in an FA Cup final has stunned Manchester United before they even got going. Less than 16 seconds on the clock. An ill kind young woman who always turns up in May. Delivered in June in the sunshine of Wembley. Well, we caught a lot of people by surprise, me included. It's just a loose ball. And that's what you do with a loose ball around the box. He's been City's heartbeat throughout the season. Done better with a header, possibly. Knocked it into an area away from Gundogan. I don't know, we'll see it again. Got to get the concentration right here. De Bruyne. And it's another opportunity this time for Rodri which goes flashing past the post Manchester United are going to wake up they're going to wake up by Fernandez and Grealish is on the hunt for the second Manchester City goal hide it Fernandez now Casemiro and it's disruptive as it is what they have done United in the early stages and it's not 10 minutes gone yet Area. Casemiro's trying to pick him up. They do get into that no man's land in between the two lines, then they're in big trouble because they've got, as we've talked about, Haaland. That can't you backing off Rashford wanting the ball again. Diaz stepping in. Rodri Gundogan. Haaland made a run. He got something on it. Dribbles away from Varane. He wasn't too far away. They almost were out of the game again oh, then. I mean, it's just brilliant forward play. I mean, he turns my arms off and running. They're going to try to hold on to it. And in the end, Christian Eriksen. Casemiro's delivery. Rashford's flick. Didn't trouble the Manchester City goalkeeper. A bit heavy, but Rashford's trying to make the most of it. And Diaz has managed to wander. It's the Brunner. David De Gea had to keep an eye on it. What a take. It's all about the take here on the half ton. Allows the right ball, just didn't hit it hard enough. Point of view. Paul Tierney has received the instruction from David 
Koot to have a look at it. He is now watching it. He's he going to cannot his give mind. it. He's giving a penalty. It's Fernandez against Ortega. It's one one in the cup final, and somehow Manchester United are back in it, and they have quite literally been given a helping hand. Well, in all fairness, you have to say after conceding after 13 seconds. United have got themselves back in the game. They've quietened the Manchester City chances. They've only had that one from the header. And they've kind of plotted away and started to get back in the game. But they've been given an absolute gift. Well, I think the Manchester United players are unhappy because they feel as if something has come onto the pick. Short from De Bruyne to Silva, back to De Bruyne. Teases it into the six-yard box and Casemiro. Got to be on that. And now Stones, look where he's gone. Pulls it back. De Bruyne challenged by Fred. And now Manchester City won the penalty. No, oh, that brilliant flip them up the pitch. Oxford still got it. He's going to rear it to up until now. Here is Varane. What a chance. Not a regular scorer by any stretch of the imagination, but that was a chance. Still just holding off Bernardo Silva, who's uh, wanting more action to be taken. Yeah, he had a little. That's right. Getting the bounce of the ball. Gundogan attempting to clear. There's a bit more pressure from Manchester United. Right at the... It's a little bit late from Aaron wan Not sure how much contact there was, but... De Bruyne. Okay, next. Half-time at Wembley. It's Manchester City. Being a City fan and all that. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't about being a City fan, it was about being a football fan. It's still never... I've not <laughs> met one person who thinks it's a penalty apart from him. And let's not forget that Silva. De Bruyne passes it through the six-yard box, but it's behind Erling Haaland. This is Sancho. Tripping his way into the box and almost getting past. And they're finding De Bruyne again. Played over there, engaging. And being a little too aggressive. And then Kevin De Bruyne. Gunning with a drop of the ship. Comes back to Gundogan. And he's done it again! Well, they really do score all kinds of wonderful goals. There may have been a touch of fortune about it, but it was well crafted from the set piece by Manchester City. They scored early in the first half, and they've scored early in the second. And it's that man again. Well, it's a training ground move, no doubt about that, and that's where the ball's supposed to go. But Gundogan... Van Bissaka. Down the side of the box. Best of goal. Stones. Not been caught by Fred. And he wasn't... Moving towards... Moving Diaz, and now Haaland's got it. Here's Gundogan. And he was too hard for him. Still a hit him, didn't he? A bit lower. Yeah. De Bruyne. Still Kevin De Bruyne. It's the feet of David De Gea. He'll block that shot on target. There he is now. He's on the ball. Inside left. Lane maker. Going for goal. Confirmation of that change. Alejandro Garnaccio. Here as well. Work, but he runs into trouble and gives the ball away. Lindelof stepping forward. Now Fernandez. Now Rashford. It's Marcus Rashford. And there was a bit of panic from the City back line there. Well, that was a real rocket from Rashford. When you get 